Okay, well, it's that time of year when we start seeing an uptick in deer crashes throughout our St. Louis area. And, of course, Illinois is no exception. I have a trooper, Josh Corando. Corando. Sorry, I I got that right earlier. (laughs) Corando with the Illinois State Police. And good morning, Josh. We have been seeing an uptick in the Illinois area with deer crashes. What has the trends been looking like from your standpoint? So statistically, November is always the worst month for for deer crashes, and it's going that way just again. Um, So things to think about when when you're out there driving, um, make sure you're paying attention. You're always looking at your surroundings. Uh, Deer can come out of nowhere. They're like ninjas. They they jump out of nowhere. Um, At night, when you have your headlights on, make sure you look for the the eye glare because your lights are going to reflect off their eyes. Um, Most of the time, deer travel in, in groups. So if you see one come across the road, just take one second because there's probably going to be a couple more coming across the road. You were saying November is the busiest month for this. Yeah, most definitely. It's uh, like like I said, statistically, it's always the worst month, the the one where we see the the most amount of, of deer crashes on the Illinois highways. I mean, I I've gotten hit by a deer once, and the deer actually came at me at my car. I had no time to react. What would you say in those situations too? I. <laughs> We are, we're pushing the don't veer for deer. So um, we're seeing a lot of times where people are causing more serious crashes when they try to veer away or you know, swerve away from the deer. Um, you're most likely gonna do less damage to your car if you hit the deer and uh, unless, or except for, I'm sorry, you're gonna do more damage if you veer away from the deer and like hit another car or a tree or a guardrail or something. So just try to, Slam on those brakes and miss the deer, but don't veer away into another lane or off the road or anything like that. That's a good reminder because I think when that deer hit me, just my tail light or my mm-hmm. headlight was damaged. No other cars were affected. Right, exactly. That's exactly. the important thing. Uh, you said you had a funny story about <laughs> deer crossing. So I, I read a, uh, an article, it's been a few years back, but people were calling in because they were concerned that uh, the deer crossing signs were being put in dangerous areas for, for deer to cross, like the, the deer were reading the signs. So just a reminder, those deer crossing signs are for the motoring, motoring public. They're not for the deer <clears throat> where they're supposed to cross the road. So I, I always that always makes me chuckle. I tell that in my, my driver's ed classes when I go to the driver's ed. So it, it always makes the kids laugh, like the deer are not reading the sign. Yeah. The, the, the signs are for the people that are, that are driving through the areas. We're trying to keep the, both those deer and drivers <laughs> safe. <laughs> Most okay. definitely. Thank you so much for joining us absolutely Josh. thank you now we're tossing it to blair and john out there in spanish lake having a great old time out there